Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today we will be looking at the first steroid stack in history. Well, more like an anabolic stack. And if you have been following my videos on the history of steroid use, you would know that Silver Era bodybuilders were already inquiring about testosterone as early as 1943, and you can see that video linked below. And it was in fact legendary Silver Era bodybuilder John Grimmick who was asking about testosterone. After reading Muscle Town USA by Professor John D. Fair, I discovered yet another letter which describes John Grimmick's steroid stack that he was taking in 1954. You heard right. Here is the letter in full. Quote, Thanks for keeping me awake last night. I didn't really get the sting of Morpheus, goddess that is, until 4am. But wait, I feel fresh and alert as if I slept from midnight. Must be this darn amber-coloured vitamins. But at times I think I detect a bit of alcohol by my discriminating palate. Boy, I can't wait until I make a long trip by car. Say, boy, I'm going to make California in less than two days flat. Unless I get flattened before. But seriously, that darn stuff sure has an odd reaction on me. I took two tablespoons this morning. I feel like I've gotten 1,000 milligrams of testosterone, end quote. Now, I'm going to analyze this letter in a second with some comments, but let's just add one further detail to this letter. And that is, Professor John D. Fair states also in his book that along with the drugs mentioned in the letter, Grimmick was also using a substance called Syndrox, which was the trade name for methamphetamine back in the 1940s and 50s. Now, before you start blasting John Grimmick, let's just get one thing straight. The first recorded experimentation of any steroids by a silver era bodybuilder was in 1954 and the bodybuilder in question sure was John Grimmick and he began experimenting when he was already retired from bodybuilding competition. Sure, it destroys his natural status but we also need to discuss whether the following stack had an effect on his physique at all which I will get into in a few minutes. Now let's analyze this letter. From what I can gather, he is describing the effects of Syndrox, as methamphetamine is a potent central nervous system stimulant. He states the following again. Thanks for keeping me awake last night. I didn't really get the sting of Morpheus, goddess that is. So from what I understand, the sting of Morpheus actually refers to falling asleep. Uh, until 4am, but wait, I feel fresh and alert as if I slept from midnight. So he basically states that after taking Syndrox, he was awake until 4 a.m. and not tired the next morning, again, describing the effects of methamphetamine. Must be this darn amber-colored vitamins. Interesting fact, bodybuilders used to call all kinds of drugs and steroids vitamins back then because, in fact, and in all honesty, they actually thought they were vitamins. That's how, you know, don't mean to insult them, but that's how ignorant they were. But at times I think I detect a bit of alcohol by my discriminating palate. Boy, I can't wait until I make a long trip by car. Say, boy, I'm going to make California in less than two days flat. Again, now Grimmick expresses his excitement about Syndrox and how effective it is as a stimulant. Unless I get flattened before. But seriously, that down stuff sure has an odd reaction on me. I took two tablespoons this morning. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, this is a pretty wowing moment right now. Um, you know, he's not just uh, stating that he liked methamphetamine, but he liked it so much that he took another dose the next morning, which I find hilarious. I feel like I've gotten 1,000 milligrams of testosterone. Not only that, um, he compares it to the equivalent, you know, he compares the effects to the equivalent of taking a 1,000 milligram shot of testosterone. End quote. Anyway, uh, Professor John D. Fair also states that by summer of 1954, John Grimmick was, quote, taking a variety of substances provided by Ziegler, including Syndrox, end quote. So from what we can gather from this letter and the book, it appears that John Grimmick was stacking testosterone shots with Syndrox. And not only that, but perhaps taking hun several hundred milligrams or more of testosterone per week with Syndrox, of course, I am just speculating here, but definitely stacking methamphetamine with testosterone. Now, in further defense of John Grimmick, Professor Fair states that like Ziegler, 
Grimmick's interest stemmed from his curiosity about how drugs might stimulate muscular growth and performance. So, sure, this blows John Grimmick's natural status out of the water, but again, this occurred after retirement from bodybuilding competition. And further, knowing that he was already inquiring about steroids in 1943 just goes to show that these silver-era bodybuilders were just like any athlete. They are human. They were not perfect moral examples of our society. Being competitive athletes, they were willing to try new things and through curiosity and the will to win, experiment with new things to get that edge. And in many ways, no different to today's athletes. Now, obviously, Syndrox had a major effect on John Grimmick, but what about testosterone? Well, John Grimmick's reaction to testosterone was also documented in Muscletown, USA. Let me read an excerpt from this book, quote from John Grimmick. Ziegler tried to convince me that if I took these shots two to three times a week, I would get stronger and more muscular without training, but I saw no reaction. In fact, I told him I was feeling lousy compared to what I feel normally, so he suggested I return to training. I did, but after six weeks, I gave it up, that is the shots. I got no results, end quote. It's interesting to read this quote from John Grimmick because he wasn't receiving oral testosterone, which is not very potent, but he was receiving shots of testosterone, which is supposed to be way more effective. And even if he was only receiving a few hundred milligrams a week, I would dare to say that he would probably feel an effect. Several people have tried to explain why John Grimmick claims to have had no effects, and it may be simply because he was already so strong and most likely with high testosterone naturally produced in his body, and therefore the external synthetic testosterone had no effect on him. But of course, again, these are just speculations. So that was the first recorded steroid stack. Well, more like an anabolic stack, really. But you get the point. And believe it or not, the stack which consisted of testosterone shots and Sendrox was taken by none other than legendary silver-era bodybuilder John Grimmick. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and let me know your comments. What do you think of this anabolic stack? According to John Grimmick, it had only, at at most, a stimulant effect and not an anabolic effect. Uh, You know, what do you think of John Grimmick now? Does this information tarnish your opinion of him? And what about your opinions of the silver era bodybuilders in general? I would be interested to read your comments, and please write them and let me know. In my opinion, both the Bronze Era and Silver Era still produced some of the best methods for naturals in existence, and if you are interested in learning about these methods, then please visit my website for the biggest collections of ebooks on the subject of training. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Head to www.goldenerabookworm.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal high quality bodybuilding posters of the golden era stars, merchandise and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eder, John Grimmick, Reg Park, and many other golden era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the golden era stars are also available and to collaborate, please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one-on-one But with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash geb to get started.